Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I want to show you how to digitize your name using PE Design software. And the reason that I thought about this today is I watched another video by another sewing machine company where they were using two or three applications on an iPad and they were creating a quilt label. Now you could digitize your name, for instance, if you're making a friendship block or perhaps you have one of your grandkids has written their name on something and you want to digitize that. It's a really fun way to be able to create something that is unique because it's your own handwriting. So there are a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do this entirely in your software. I do not have a, a digitizing pen or a a mouse that is a pen. I'm, I just have a regular mouse. But in your software, let me just clear the screen and let me show you how you could write your name using using your software. You can choose shapes and then you want to choose the pencil open curve. Now you will want to practice this and what you need to do is hold down your left mouse button and then you're just going to write. And I'm not very good at this so you can see what it looks like. That is now digitized. It's two different objects, but it has a running stitch and it would stitch out. Let's, in fact, let's just play it. You can see that it's stitching out my name. Now, if I don't happen to like this, which I typically don't like it in, in the software because I think it's kind of sharp on the edges, what I'll do is I'll do File New. And let me show you another way of doing it. So we'll go into an application that's also Brother's application, and this is called Brother Canvas Workspace. If you happen to own a Scan and Cut, this is the software that Brother has. It's free. It's uh, there is an online application, and if you have a PE PC, not PE, you can also download the application into your PC. Unfortunately, they don't have a tablet version of this at the, this time. But in order to use this, let's let me just clear the screen. So we'll say File New, and I don't want to say this. You use the freehand tool. That's the same one that we used a minute ago, and I'm just holding down my left mouse button. Now, it is easier for me to write my name using my mouse in this application for some reason. I don't really think that looks that great. So let me show you another way I can do it because I happen to have a PC that where I can just use my fingertip and I can write. So we'll just choose File New and Don't Save. And this time, while I still have that tool selected, I'm writing directly on my screen. Now, how many times have you checked out somewhere and they handed you a tablet and you have to write on that tablet? This works just the same as that. I think the curves are smooth, smoother in the Brother Canvas workspace, and that's one reason why I want to do it there. Now, you'll notice if, if we choose the selection and we want to choose everything, this shows that the operation is cut, but I want to choose draw, and then... I want to go on and I can change the width of this if I want and make it a wider width, but I'll leave it on one point and I'll choose File, Export FCM File. Now I'll save this to my desktop and I want to save it as Terry Signature. I've already done this once before, so I'll just overwrite it and say yes. Now what I'll do is I'll switch back to my PE design software and I'll go to the scan and cut tab and I'll choose import. Now everything that I have in my design space, in Brother Canvas workspace, excuse me, I now have access to those FCM files. So I'll choose Terry and choose import. Now that I have that on the screen, I can close this window and let's go to shapes and let's choose a different thread color. You'll notice it sees this as an applique material or something that you're going to create for an applique. Let's change it to red. And now I can choose from all different types of stitches. I can leave it as a running stitch. 
I can choose a stem stitch, which actually looks pretty nice. I'll leave it like that. And I can also go into my sewing attributes and change the spacing or the angle or the stitch width on it. So if I wanted to create a quilt label, for instance, that had had my name on it, and I would probably put my last name too, or, or let's say it was part of a friendship block, what I can do is I can go back into shapes, let's go back to home, and we need to click off because we don't want to be, be on the name, so we'll go to shapes, and at this point, this is where I could choose a shape that would be the outside perimeter, for instance. I'll go ahead and choose a rectangle and draw a rectangle around this. And now what it's doing, it sees that I have a fill stitch. I want to select that as a no-sew region. So just as quick as this, I created a quilt block label with my signature. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any requests for special recordings, let me know. Thank you and have a good day.